channel and thank you so much for watching. I am back! I am so excited to be sitting right here in front of the camera, in front of all these lights and filming this video because it has been a whole entire week. I'm not going to bore you guys with what happened. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or on Instagram, and not Instagram, Twitter, you guys probably already know what was going on. I had some major difficulties with my laptop. It deleted all of the videos I had pre-recorded for last week because I had a crazy busy week. So I didn't have anything to post last week, but I am back today and I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup look that I have on right now, of course. So the inspiration behind this makeup look is I wanted to do something cold, cold. I wanted to do something bold and colorful, but still wearable now for the holiday season. I wanted to incorporate blue and I also wanted to incorporate the color gold. So I knew that I wanted to incorporate them both together, but I wanted to do it in a way that it didn't come off clownish or not wearable. So I decided to do a shade of blue that I feel like it will look so pretty with any skin color, any eye color, because it's not a navy blue, it's not an aqua, it's kind of like an in-between color, and I absolutely love this particular shade. And then I decided to go ahead and incorporate the pop of gold in the inner corner. If you want, you can do the whole inner half of the eyes with a gold and then do the blue in the outer. I wanted to do something colorful and fun for the new year, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for whatever you guys choose to wear this look. I think this would be the perfect look. And that's it. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! Alrighty you guys, let's do this. So as you guys already know, I always start off my makeup by priming my eyelids and today I used the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I did set it with some translucent powder because the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is super creamy. So by setting it with a translucent powder, you will be avoiding a lot of creasing. The first shade I am going to be taking is Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee and I'm going to put this all over my crease, super messy with the Sigma E40 Blending brush just want to pack it on the crease you do not have to be precise just get it on there then I'm going to go in with the color petal pusher which is a new matte eyeshadow from makeup peak as well it's a little bit lighter than unexpected but it's such a beautiful transition color especially when working with blues and purples so I'm going to go ahead and pack that on the crease with the same e40 that we use creme brulee on then I'm going to take some gel eyeliner I love the one from L'Oreal and I'm going to only be putting this on the lower portion of my lid you do not want to take this up to the crease keep it nice and low and this is going to serve as our base for the blue eyeshadow we are going to be applying which is blueberry by makeup geek and look at this color it is so beautiful it looks navy on camera but in person it looks like a really dark periwinkle blue it is absolutely stunning so using a sigma e55 shader brush i'm going to go ahead and pack this blue wherever we applied that black gel base so then taking a more tapered blending brush this is a sigma e40 i'm going to take it with blueberry once again and i'm going to put this color in the crease and what i'm going to do with this color is i'm slowly going to start blending that really harsh line that we had before so I wanted this color to be the darkest in the lower portion of the lid and then as it went up to the crease it got lighter so that's why I took a really fluffy brush with the same color and just slightly blended it you want to make sure that you take your time blending and do not take this too high up the crease you pretty much just want to form a gradient effect with this color and you are going to get tons of fallouts because you are going to be blending for a really long time. So just take a makeup wipe and remove any of the excess. So now I'm going to take a mixture of Stealth and Concrete Jungle, which is another two shades from the new matte eyeshadows that Makeup Geek launched. And I'm going to take this with a Sigma E25 and I'm going to put this right in the center, like right in the crease. And this is just going to sandwich everything together and make it blend and give it a little bit more of a smoky effect. And it's also going to help to blend in that line from the gel liners. 
So once you have done that, you want to go ahead and apply some mascara. Any mascara will work. This one is from CoverGirl, I believe, and I'm just using this to coat my lashes to prepare for falsies. For today's falsies, I am going to be using the Coco Lashes in the style, I was going to say shade, in the style Goddess. I wanted something with, that was dramatic, but that it wasn't too over the top because I didn't want to cover the blue eyeshadow and I think these lashes are perfect for that. Moving on to the skin, I am first going to start off by priming. I am first taking the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and I'm going to apply this all over the skin. I have recently re-fallen in love with it. And then I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and I'm going to put this on the areas where I tend to have a little bit of texture and the larger pores. I did also take an orange face concealer and I apply that to the under eye because my dark circles have been going crazy so by applying something that's orange based is going to help conceal later on for foundation I am going to be using a mixture of the hourglass veil fluid foundation in the shade nude and I'm also going to be taking the makeup forever HD foundation the original one I'm going to mix them both together and I'm going to apply it with a damp beauty blender these foundations are super dewy when mixed together so if you are oily I definitely Definitely do not recommend mixing them so moving on to concealer I am going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer I am in the shade light neutral and then I went ahead and I used the MAC light boost highlighting pen on the other areas where I wanted to highlight and kind of balance out the under eyes so I did apply it in the forehead down the bridge of the nose chin around the nose on, on the cupid's bow and then I also took some under the eyes in the the outer part I didn't really bring the um, light boost under the eyes and then I blended everything out with a damp beauty blender and by the way I did go ahead and fill in my brows I always fill in my brows right after my foundation because that way it gives my my foundation time to set before I go ahead and apply concealer so I am also going to be setting the under eyes with my favorite under eye set uh, what did I just say with my favorite under eye setting powder which is the MAC Mineral Light Skin Finish in Light. As you guys know I like to apply it with my damp sponge and then I will take a brush and I'll set the rest of the face. So now to contour slash bronze I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the original contour kit. I'm taking the last two darkest shades and I'm going to apply this in the hollows of the cheeks up in the forehead and just pretty much around the perimeter of the face. I don't know why it looks so harsh on camera, but in person it didn't look like that. Um, just make sure that you really blend it out. So now I am going to be taking the Cover Effects. This is a translucent powder and I'm going to use this to kind of carve out the contour and just to make it a little bit more sharp and clean. And I'm also going to apply this on the areas where I tend to get oily, which is the chin, up in the forehead, and a little bit down the nose. Since I did use such a dewy foundation, I definitely like to take the extra step to set the areas of the face where I tend to get oily because I don't want to get shiny throughout the day. So for blush, I am taking Max Peaches. I love this blush. I feel like it goes really well with any makeup look. And since we're using such a bold, not using, since we're doing such a bold makeup look, I definitely wanted to use something that's a little bit more neutral. I did add a little bit of the Becca's Blushed Copper. This is a blush overlay just to give it a little bit more shine. And then for highlight, I am first going to be taking this matte. Smashbox Soft Lights in the shade Shimmer. This is a little bit more pink toned. And then I'm going to add what seems like a lot of, this is the Mary Illuminizer highlight. And I'm going to put this with a fan brush and I'm going to fan it down just a little bit to kind of mix everything together. And I did put this in the highest point of the cheekbones. So for the inner corner, I am taking a Makeup Geek Duochrome Eyeshadow in the shade Karma. I love this eyeshadow. It reflects green and gold and it is so so beautiful so I did pop that in the inner corner I lined my waterline with a white pencil this one is fascinating by Mac but you can also do a black for a more smokier effect I didn't realize the under eye area um, the footage was a little bit blurry so I'm going to break it down for you guys I did take a flat shader brush with that blue blueberry and I put this in the lower lash line and then I took concrete jungle with a pencil brush 
and I just smoked it out. So moving on to the lips, I did line my lips with Max Strip Down Lip Pencil. I lined the lips and I filled the lips in with this particular lip pencil. I did want to have a brown base. I feel like brown and blue looks really pretty together. So then I put the new Lip Land and Reezy Collection lipstick in the shade Reezy and I put this all over the lips. I love this color. It's really unique. I really, really like it. So I put that all over the lips and then I put a little bit of Max Oyster Girl right in the center to give it more dimension and also to give it more of a glossy finish so once you have done that you are pretty much done thank you so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys very soon bye